Uh, my name is Roberto Segura. I work for Red Component, as all of you can see. Uh, we create uh, extensions and we give uh, consultancy services. Uh, I have contributed to the tax system and this is my first session, my first international event, so excuse any uh, mistake. Uh, we are talking, uh, we are going to talk about uh, implementing the tax system in your component. Uh, it's, the it's a feature from Joomla 3.1, so let's see. Uh, the tax system is really, the ending result I think is really cool. Uh, we have to improve some things. But uh, the overall system works almost perfect. It includes nested tags, uh, multi-language compatibility. You have to uh, create a parent tag for the, la uh, the languages. So you can do English uh, and from there create children tags for that language. But uh, it works. It's a, a way to do it. Uh, there are two ways, or more than two ways, but uh, basically w there are two ways to use the new tax system. The standard way, that is the way that Core <coughs> is using it. Uh, we will need to use the UCM integrated system. Uh, it's really fast to do it. And in the other hand, we can uh, do it uh, on in our way. Uh, you have to provide backward compatibility if you want to use it in a 2.5 component. But you are, you, uh, it's harder to implement, but you get the freedom and the compatib backward compatibility. Uh, in this talk, we are going to talk about uh, the standard way. Uh, I will give some basic advices to implement it in, on your way in any component. Uh, there are six stages. Uh, for create for using the tag system like it's in the core. The first of all, we have to create the content type in the installation of our component. Uh, the second thing we have to do is to modify the table, the backend table, uh, modify the model also, then add a tag field to the XML form, uh, modify the backend view, and then the front end view. Well, this, this is the Easy part. Now let's get dirty. I really enjoyed uh, Nicolas' talk yesterday, so I'm going to do the same. I'm going to try everything on the fly. It's the funny way. <coughs> so uh, here we have a demo component I created. It's called ComJab. And like Nicolas' talk, it does nothing now, just installs. Uh, let's try it. My component is not there. Uh, I'm going to discover it. OK, it's installed. And we have countries, states, and speakers that should then work. OK, it's working, but it's empty. Uh, the first in the install script, I, did, I cheated here. I have some job already done uh, because the content type is a really complex thing and the way it's in the, on the doc website uh, you have to we have to change it because it's only a JSON string that nobody's going to use or understand so I created an, an array system with some uh, properties to easy, easily see how do you have to do it uh, the first part of the content type creator, well, uh, we are saying that uh, to the install that we are going to execute the post flight method. It's executed in the install and in discover install. Uh, we are going to try to load our content type to check if it's already there. 
uh, my content type is called like the component dot my uh, the kind of content type. I could have com jab categories, com jab uh, speaker, or whatever. You can have multiple content types in your component. This is the table definition. Is the relation between the UCM table and your your uh, tax uh, table? Your no, your item table. Uh, it's easy to set up. Uh, this is the K field, the name of the content type, the prefix of the table, and the config that uh, really doesn't does nothing now. And this is the common table that is the core table. The K is UCM ID. I'm going to show you. Uh, you have content types. This is these are the fields. No, then con I don't the, the UCM table, sorry. This are, these are all the fields that we have. The base is, is th this one. This is the base, is the relation that we are doing here, the UCM ID field. The con the core content is the prefix, the, the name of the table of the table, and the prefix is J table, that's the, the standard Joomla prefix. Uh, after that we have to establish relations between our fields, uh, is they are on the right side, and the core fields. These fields are those fields. We have to tell which fields of the UCM system we are going to use and re establish relations between the core uh, fields and our fields. I'm going to use ID, it's a really simple system, so I'm going to use ID, name, state. Uh, you can replace any, any field with null to not use it. So basically, uh, these are the fields that I'm going to use. And then this is the, the tag table that is, you have to do it, but it's not related. Uh, I hope to see my content type already there because I execute the install script, so it should be there. And content types. Here we have Java speaker. It's basically this is uh, the JSON field that I showed you in the documentation in the doc site. Here, that's how it's. Sorry, uh, this is the same that we are doing here, but we did it uh, in a clean way. All this code is in GitHub, you can check it all later. So, seems complex, but really is, isn't it? Uh, the next part we have to do is to uh, edit the ta table, the backend table. So, we are going to admin tables, and it's our speaker table. It's empty now. We have to. I'm going to use the doc site uh, like you should do. Uh, also, we are have we are going to use the contact component. That is a good reference on how to do it. So, if you have any doubt, the best thing is to copy because it's already there. It's using it. So, uh, the the administrator contact tables contact is a good thing to ch to do. You can basically copy paste. We are going to copy this, this code. This is the Nicholas way and the constructor. I'm not using uh, the J table, the standard J table. I have some libraries to ease the handling of. It's not FOB, but it's a, uh, an, an extension of base tables, tables to uh, easy the things. So I just have to replace the the content type in the alias. Let's say Jab Speaker and. Is done. Then in the in the constructor that we did it, 
and uh, we have to modify the store and delete methods. Uh, as before, the best uh, one of the things that is it's in, in the documentation is that the tax system uses metadata. Me metadata, and uh, I really don't like it, but it's like it's done now. So you need a metadata uh, fil uh, field set in your component to use it. Uh, to do so, we have to also use the bind method to ensure that we are going to bind the correct metadata. I will add it to the documentation later. We can remove the params part because we we'll only need metadata. And then uh, we, ha we are going to uh, modify the store and delete methods. We just need the part the part of for tax is this part. But I'm going to copy that. And remove everything else. It should be like the core. Okay. We only did uh, copy paste. It's easy for now. And then the delete method for the contact two. Okay, let's try if we can create a register a row. <sighs> Seems to work. Okay. Uh, what we already did is uh, uh, the system should be should have stored that our tag in the tables in the in the database tables. So we are going to check it. The tags is in the content item tag map. Should be there. They are not there. <laughs> Ah, yes, thank you. <laughs> I have created my own country. <laughs> now I'm Roberto Segura from the Roberto Segura country. <laughs> you are all invited to my country. <laughs> um, now let's check if it's there. It's not. Yeah, all, all goes like expected. Like Nicholas talk. <laughs> 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 uh, let's check what I did wrong. The start is there. The speaker. I have it uh, already there. Did. So let's just grab speaker, find, delete. Ah, I didn't export the new code to the to the site. What file doesn't exist? Okay, uh, now I'm going to ah to create some tags. Ah, we have no field, no, no tag field. Sorry. Uh, right. Once done in the table, you have to edit also the item model to add the tag part. So let's test the core. <sighs> the contact also. Is it in the backend? Contact. We just need to review 
the Gertitan model in the in the the Gertitan uh, method in the model. I already have to get it then. This is a dirty thing I added. Uh, this is also important. Is I, I found that this is this information is not in the doc site. Also, uh, it's the same that the bind method. We have to ensure that uh, the the metadata part of the item is a uh, uh, array. So we are going to create a new J registry uh, entry uh, bar and uh, translate the metadata info information to an array. We can we could do this easily like this and have a line I'm going to open this in the middle okay now ha I have it ready Okay, next part is the add the tag field. The it's really easy. You ha you only have to create an XML <coughs> field, but uh, the uh, hard part is to do the uh, metadata f part of the thing of the of the form. So once again, we are going to copy what is in the core in the uh, contact system. This is the form it's using, and at the end, you can search for tax. This is not. This is the field, really. That's what we need, but we are forced to create the field shapes, field set, with the fields. So let's copy this into our speaker form. This is a standard form. You don't have to do anything else but copy the metadata. You can remove the the parts that you don't you are not going to use. So we we will only keep the tag field. Uh, the tag field has some uh, attributes attributes to to uh, do a fine tuning that of what we are go we want to to use. So this is a type, the tag is a tag type and uh, the, the same field can be used uh, adding attributes. I'm going to show some parts of the core that are, uh, are using it, for example in, in menus, in, in the mod. Let's see. Oh, this is here. You can search for type tags in the core. We have some places that uh, in some places you want to allow to add tags, but in other places you don't want to allow it. But for example, in a menu, you just want to uh, select which tags to use. Also, the tag system has a, a backend parameter in the tag component. Like this. In the options of the component, you have uh, the way you want to use the tag field. Uh, tag description. Uh, 
someone change it. Ah, this this one. If you want to use the Ajax uh, mode, that is uh, when you type, it automatically searches after uh, after the three car, uh, or the nested way, that is uh, the way that uh, Joomla categories work. Uh, you show in the parent and the children. Uh, the Ajax field also allows you to uh, on the flight tag creation. So if you want to use uh, a standard uh, Ajax field, like we all know actually, uh, you have to use the Ajax type. Uh, if we wanted this field, for example, to use the uh, uh, to change switch the mode of the field, we can force it here, saying nested or use Ajax. I'm going to try it. I don't understand why. Okay. Let's see if we can do it. <coughs> this is the field I forgot to mention that you have to add it in the view. In the view, we have the form. You have you have having to do anything. I think is there. It's already shown. No, you don't have to do anything except uh, adding it to the f to the view to the final view template. The edit. Here we also have to deal with the metadata thing. Uh, it's an ugly way of doing it, but uh, for now you have to do it this way. Uh, just search this, this search is for the field set called metadata, and then the field name metadata tags. It's uh, it's our field. That's the way it's shown here. Let's add. It should be nested. Okay. It should be nested field, but it's not. Let's see what happens. Okay, it's in the right part. It's not working the the mode <laughs> I, I also as expected. And I'm going to search in the code. Uh, it's stuck. Okay. There are some places that we are using it. Um, I'm trying to show. For example, uh, this is my own component. Doesn't work. In menu entries, modern forms article. This is in the article. Ah, okay. This is in the, in the uh, yes, the, the parent field in the tax system uses it. Uh, this is this field. This, for example, if we want to use the multi language, we should create English. This is a way of doing it, but and then the parent field here. This is done that with this is a nested field. So we can uh, PHP. And we have to edit it to add it to the English. So here's a nested field. We can also, in an Ajax mode, you can also, uh, you have also an attribute to specify if you want to allow the 
uh, created create new tags on the fly, or you want to uh, to don't don't allow. Uh, this is done with the uh, allow custom with a custom. It's called custom. And now I'm going to search it, and you have to do allow. That is the is the default mode mode and deny. <laughs> Let's see if it works. I'm going to allow it. I'm ah, doing on the fly, okay. Uh, if I don't allow it, it it, it, it works. <laughs> Should then work, <laughs> okay. Custom allow ah it's allow deny. If we reload. We shouldn't be able. To I'm going to set BHP. That is there. It shows all the tree of the tags. It's a cool thing, I think. Uh, we will add it and try to create a custom tag. It doesn't allow us. Uh, this, for example, is just for, for menu entries or any pla for a model settings. Uh, it will set it to allow <coughs> or just remove it because it's the standard way, the standard model. <coughs> you can create pressing enter or with comma to fastly add new tags. Now the uh, in our uh, database should be tags. I hope they are there. Yes, these are our tags. Uh, this shows the relation between the core content, that is a, a content type, uh, the ID of the of that uh, registry, and uh, the tag ID related. This is tags are stored in the tags. This is these are our tags and the ID that is related here in the content type and the tag map. Okay, so now we have work in the back end. Uh, now we have to edit the front end. It's all in the document and easy. Here is explained also the uh, mode and the custom way. But you can check uh, after the the GitHub code. So let's do the front end part. We have to edit the view controller and set up the display. Let's do it. Uh, we are not doing anything now, but we are going to add. Hmm. Let's just contact. In this, in the front end, is to load the tag. Testing the display. I'm going to copy paste. From the app speaker, you. Ah, but that's not the here. That's the view. That this is the part that we have to add. Uh, we are just adding the tags after loading the item, the item. So. We have to specify here uh, the com our content type that is com jab a speaker. No, I don't need it. Okay, in the in the view. I'm going to set up a menu entry for it.
oh, we are going to force it because I have no menu entry. Uh, com option well equal com jar and view speaker and add our speaker ID. Uh, this should be done in, in a view, but stick standard is working. Wait. I'm going to replace the full component with my uh, code because uh, it only reminds the last part is to show the tag. So I want to use it easily. I have uh, already a branch. This should be working. Yes. Uh, let's check the code. And the speaker. Uh, exactly. Uh, if the it item is isn't empty, we are going. We are loading the content, the tags for that content, and then in the view, uh, we have to. We are going to use a layout. That is some is one of the cool things that is using actually Joomla. Uh, it's easy to show the tags. You only have to pass the the item tags to a layout. Uh, we are going to render this Joomla content tags that is stored in uh, layouts. Joomla content tags. We are saving this code because we are using the already. Uh, existent uh, layout. You can override this, don't use it, or just uh, uh, copy paste it in your component, in your template to customize it. Uh, exactly, let's try to override it. Templates, let start. For the layout, and then it's uh, Joomla. Content, and then we ha we're going to copy it there. Let's try it. Update the way. Yes, it's there. This is uh, our override to if you want to change the class name or whatever you want to use. Or, uh, I think it's better or easier in the view. Uh, just add uh, a parent class, a parent uh, CSS class, but it's only the way to show you how to do the view. So it's is there uh, in the popular tags. Uh, we are already showing, and this is our content type, already automatically creates the right route without doing anything. And you are there, you have the content there. Uh, it's not hard, as you sh uh, have shown, seen, it's not hard to implement the system. The bad thing is that you have to use the metadata, it's the only uh, <coughs> tricky w uh, thing of the system right now. Then you can add the batch method also. Uh, most components are not going to use it, but it's, but it's used the same, using the adding the batch uh, part of the tags. Uh, and I think it's it's already there. I, I'm sure I missed some cool things, uh, but uh, overall idea I think is clear enough. You have any question about the system, <coughs> about the field? I need to create a new content type, or can I use an existing one? Uh, uh, yes, uh, you can uh, not use the content type, the UCM system. That is the fast way I talked before. It's the uh, standard way now. Uh, but you can uh, use the Ajax libraries already existing. I'm going to show you. In the core, we have no uh, 
some libraries that you can use. <coughs> we have now uh, the tax field here that is using an Ajax chosen library that it's already added into the core. Uh, you can do that just to populate uh, the same field that we are we are using here. That field is an Ajax chosen field that I modified to get it working with uh, on the fly tag creation, but it's basically an Ajax chosen field. So if you, I have an article in the community magazine explaining it. I have, I have internet. the article in the magazine there I explain the field how you can use it to for example I, I tested all with K2 to ensure that it was able to work so this is the basic usage of the field the field mode and in the last part of the article you can see the, the Ajax chosen description this is a new form behavior you have you only have to specify in the in the view you add it, like uh, for example we are doing with jQuery, let's try it. This is automatically done by the tag field, this this part. You want to use it in your view, but not using the core Ajax, uh, the core tag system, uh, do it on your way. You can uh, load the form chosen with this, you only need this part. Telling where is the URL for the rec Ajax request the data type that is JSON and the term where uh, that is going to use to compare the tags. So, uh, for example, in K2, they use uh, the bar Q. I think it's here. This is the part that you need to use. Uh, the way that you sh should return the tags, uh, if you want uh, uh, automatically results, just typing. And this is the K2 example to use it it's really the, this part has changed from that time because I added uh, uh, the comma thing and some other stuff but basically you just need uh, the tag f the in the view at this part of the code and in the in, in your tag field the, uh, you have to do a custom field to load your own Ajax uh, you have to define it this way, adding the code. So it's basically copy the field that is using Joomla and in your own custom uh, field. It's a bit of sorry. Any question? No? Yes. The get item part? Yes. So when you search? Y yes, searching or, yes. or filtering. And the menu item parameter. This is not explained. Uh, uh, if you want to uh, create a contacts, you have to use contacts. For example, with a menu entry. You have already some uh, menu item, menu kind of menu entries. With target items. And we add here the tag we want to use, PHP, and the content type that we want to use. That is job, for example. There, a new error in the line 72. That's relying on contacts to do these. Things. Exactly. You don't have you want to, to do it the other way. If you want to search for, you have to be custom coding if you want to try and 
Yes, it's not there now in the in the doc, but I think it's a good idea to add it. I will add it later. Uh, but it's just doing the same that you are doing for one item. Do it for all the items. When you do the get items part here in your component. I have no speakers view, but let's try for, for example contact. Category should be the uh, a similar way. In the display method, after getting the items, you can add that part. Uh, process again the items recited and add search <laughs> the tags. So that's a thing in within the model. So you've got the call to get items. What I'm looking for is say you're wanting um, items that, have, that are from a particular country. This country is, a, is something within your yes. You should uh, uh, create in the mo in the model. The helper should uh, yes, that part is, is in in the doc later. We should add it. Uh, now it's uh, thought uh, using the core models and that kind of things. I will try to add that in the documentation because we need it. Do I need to add a content type, or can I use my system like the one from com content? Using uh, uh, the article, for example, uh, article content, I don't think so. Because it has different tables. Exactly. It's, 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 it's a one-on-one on one relation okay. to have one content type related with, okay. with item. Any more questions? All is clear now. Uh, I did some. Uh, I was so nervous. Excuse me. <laughs> and I have a, big, a small hangover. <laughs> I saw some of you uh, yesterday in the red party in the car. <laughs> uh, so, any questions? I think it's over. It's finished.